I think it's really important that I show uh, that I introduce um, SA to Go. That's a free screen reader and actually does a lot of what I've shown you with JAWS. So let me close uh, this website now. And I'm going to shut down JAWS here and I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to show you how this can be loaded um, with a few simple keystrokes. The only thing you need is a computer, a uh, PC computer with uh, internet access. So I'm going to do this without even looking. I'm going to hit the Windows key. Okay. And if I press down arrow, most of the time Internet Explorer is on that first choice if I press down arrow on the start menu. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to type out the URL uh, so I'm going to do alt plus D and I'm going to type out s-a-t-o-g-o dot c-o-m s-a-to-go dot com Welcome to System Access to Go. Okay, I press enter to begin. So please press enter to begin. I did that without without looking at the screen. So I did probably less than 20 keystrokes there to to get to that. So I'm going to hit enter here. Please press Alt plus R to continue. Please press Alt plus R to continue, which accesses the run button. So I have to interrupt here then. So you're running this just like, if you will, in the cloud, if you will? But is this a variation of cloud computing where the software resides on the internet and so you just go to the, the website to begin running it on your local exactly. machine? Exactly, yeah. It runs, it, it runs in the virtual memory, so once mm -hmm. I log off of this, you're not going to have a program actually installed on your computer that you can pull up again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, as we were talking, it said press Alt plus R again to continue. And it's going to take uh, about a minute or so, but as it does, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. System access to go, login. Okay. Press Alt H for help. If you have an account with the system access mobile network, please enter your account number and pin to login. Okay, for time's sake here, I'm going to, uh, so you can, this is a paid feature as well. They have uh, online uh, audio described videos. They have their own proprietary email system online that you can use. Just for the screen reader uh, portion of this alone, you can access this for free. For the sake of time, I'm just going to tab to uh, log, create, continue without logging in. Continue without logging in. System access to go is ready. Okay. So now I have a, a full-blown screen reader that I can access the internet with for free. And, and as long as there's not a problem with firewalls or things like that, a person can use this at a college setting or in a library. In mm -hmm. fact, I know of uh, one of the students we worked with here who accessed this at the college when they were having problems with JAWS and she was ecstatic that she could actually get online with this. So let me show you that same website, AFB.org. Now, to use this just with the non-paid services, do you need an account or, or, or no? Okay, so you don't even need an account. I didn't even, I, I skipped that account completely, uh, signing up for an account. You can access, you can sign up for an account for free. Uh, you certainly don't get the full range of services that uh, this company called Theratech provides, but you can access that with an account. And it will save things like your, your own uh, settings that you prefer. So when you sign in again and you use your account name, uh, it will it'll save some of your settings. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, again, this is uh, AFB.org. And I can do the same thing with the letter H to access the headings. Headline. Learn about head information for what does AFB do? Okay. Heading level one. All right. Heading level one is just the type of heading that it is. Um, so I'm, I'm essentially using the same keystrokes as I as I did with JAWS so far. I can even access the links here with insert, which is the zero on the number pad, and the F7 links. key. List. Jump to the article. One of sixty-five. So one of 65 links. Uh, I know from ex previous experience they uh, have a link here for regarding uh, seniors. So I'm going to hit the S. Smaller type, sign up, seniors. Seniors. 
American Foundation for the Blind Homepage Windows Internet Explorer. When I was told of my vision loss, I thought I would lose all my personal freedom. Close quote. Frank Smith Raleigh, NC. Photo of older couple. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lot of prerequisite skills that are needed to be successful with a screen reader, but system access uh, has made this so much more accessible for people who may not be able to afford upwards of $1,000 for a program like JAWS. And although it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that a program like JAWS does, it certainly gives a person um, a great deal of access to the Internet. And um, now again, what I was saying before about website accessibility, uh, anybody can put up a website with, with very limited knowledge of, of HTML or accessibility. So again, even though uh, a person may be very learned when it comes to a screen reader and you have a good screen reader itself, that doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're always going to have full access to, to the website.